Um, I remember when TV came into the north, into uh, what is now Nunavut. I remember when the hamlet of Iglulik refused to have television come in for several years, and they fought it uh, successfully for reasons of, of uh, cultural and ling language preservation. I remember when the, the CBC offered one half hour a week for Inuktitut language program and the Nunetsiarmut uh, pro program in collaboration with the National Film Board. You developed the Inukshuk um, a program. It became TVNC, and now you're, you, you've lost, you don't have a broadcast license, and you are reliant on APTN, the Aboriginal People's Television Network, to uh, broadcast um, Inuktitut language programs um, to the widely scattered people of Nunavut. My question is this. How has it been dealing with APTN? You're a minority language in, in Canada, and you only have so many, how many hours a week do you have? Would you like more? How has it been having to use that model now as television has evolved? The Inuit were the pioneers in the north, and now it's evolved to other Aboriginal languages, which is great. But how is the your minority language faring in, in uh, access to uh, ours? Uh, can you describe that? Um, it, I can only say it's been a challenge when um, APTN started. I, I, I like the I, idea of APTN with um, broadcasting in Aboriginal languages across the country. Part of the challenge has been for IBC is with that we have to have subtitles in. All our programming has to have subtitles in English or French on top of producing in a part of the production. And often we hear complaints about from elders that they don't and others they don't see enough um, television in our language now um, even though there at the time there used to be some elders that understood other indigenous languages from their TB sanatorium experience and I don't it's been a challenge because of time slots how would you how would it be, get fixed What's the what's what's the fix if if it's not enough program um, should hours? I mention TV? Yeah. One of the ideas we've been um, working on, and it's been I don't know how five, six, seven years or more, is to have um, TV Nunavut. And I remember when that idea came about when Josie. <laughs> Jo late Josie Kusugak was still there, and there was a industry meeting, I don't know, some years ago, mm -hmm. when, when he became first KIA president, so after ITK. So the idea of TV Nunavut um, has been there, and it's, Debbie can speak more about that. We're on, I'm on the board for that too, but we haven't had a conference call or a meeting in over, <laughs> over a year because, and the hope of TV Nunavut is to be educational and broadcasting in our language. And I know from other um, interactions with other indigenous or Inuit in Greenland and Alaska, like Alaska would really love to have APTN broadcasting in Alaska, and that's something we can't go there, but possibly uh, as a way to protect, protect our language and culture. But right now, presently, all I can say is TV Nunavut is like a dream and a hope where trying to work towards and working with 
what we have now, and that is kind of restrictive uh, in a way, having to broadcast through APTN. Have anything to add, Ms. Brisebois? Yeah, the, um, as Bernadette had mentioned earlier, um, we're producing five series, but there um, are only two of our series that are broadcast on APTN plus the phone-in show. As an exception, APTN has a rule that um, any one production company can only have two series. So we still wanted to continue, uh, of course, to produce Takugingai and uh, Pitukite. So what we're doing with those uh, series is they're broadcast on isima.ca. Is that some way forward? It's a, a cyber network that streams, am I right? Is that the way yeah, forward to, uh, to, to increase Inuktitu programming in I Nunavut? think it's, that's one way going forward. Um, there are limitations. I think probably most of us are aware of the bandwidth issues, the cost, the reliability. As we see, we can't get Aletheia by video conference today, so it's, it's, it's not a bad solution. Um, I don't think it's the total solution, as Bernadette was mentioning, TV Nunavut. TV Nunavut, um, IBC, and other independent producers in Nunavut, we've been getting together for many years now, and we've, we've taken some concrete steps. There's been a technical feasibility study done. It's perfectly possible to have a Nunavut Tell channel. to the committee. Pardon? Could you make that study available uh, to the committee? Absolutely. Please, yeah. through yeah. the clerk? Sure. Um, really what's stopping us is, you know, we're a loose gr group of people trying to do our day-to-day -day work and... and Focus on the big picture. Yeah, and, you know, TV none of it really hasn't been resourced. And that's one of our recommendations in here about distribution. It, it can happen. I think, you know, it's a dream, but it's it's right there. It's only that far away. And it can happen with, you know, just some resources put into it. Thank you very much. Um, Senator Coyle.